So welcome back everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI in Australia today. Going to share um, a video with you in regards to um, cavitation, what it is, how it happens and how to overcome the problem. Also, if you have an issue with uh, your boom creeping down, why that happens and how we can resolve that issue. So in the previous video, um, uh, we went through um, the leaks in my cylinder and obviously I've lost a bit of oil uh, because of that and hence now I'm having another issue what is called cavitation and I thought this is the best time to share this video with you guys. So as usual thank you for your questions and your comments and let's get straight into this uh, video about cavitation. So what is cavitation? So firstly um, you have a pump and when you're trying to suck oil from the tank, which is called the medium, uh, if the medium isn't enough or you do not have enough of medium in your tank or you do not have enough of oil in your tank, the pump is trying to draw more and you're going to get bubbles inside it because the impeller inside your pump, whether it's centrifugal or a gear driven pump in this case, is going to try to suck more out of your tank. And it's not going to get what the volume, the medium that it needs. And that creates fine bubbles inside. Because we have a translucent hose, we'll be able to see this. Let me see if I can get this into focus for you. Um, so you can actually see this up here now. When I start the pump, you will see the, the actual phenomenon. The pump's trying to draw the oil and it's not going to get the oil and hence you're going to get fine bubbles and that is what is called cavitation. Now, the easiest way to fix it is to first put oil in your tank and then if you have a clear line full of oil, if the line is translucent and you can see, then your problem is solved. However, if you put the right amount of oil in your tank and you re-plumbed this line or you modified or you built your hydraulics and you still can see bubbles inside it that's a good indication that your suction line is smaller in diameter and hence it is starving the pump of oil or medium and the easy way to fix that is put a bigger diameter or make sure that there's no restrictions the moment you overcome these two issues one is a medium or the restriction of the size of the pipe you should be good to go. So let's have a demo and see what it actually means. So you can see what I'm going to try to relate it to. So I'm starting the pump now. You can probably see there's an air bubble coming in there right now. You can see that. So that's because there is oil in the tank, but every now and then there isn't enough for the pump to suck. And hence you're getting this phenomenon coming in. Now I'll increase the pump slightly and you see what happens when I try to move the boom up. You see that? So there you can see there's fine bubbles. So there's a demand in there. There's a huge demand and the pump is trying to draw the oil and there isn't enough of oil in the tank. There was some oil returning back into the tank and hence you're getting this bubbles that you see. Now the oils come back into the tank. So there is an erratic uh, phenomenon of oil coming in or it's not drawing enough and hence you're getting all these kind of bubbles. Now all you have to do is fill the tank up with oil and you will see this problem disappear and your boom will actually not creep. So I've got a syringe up here. It takes a while to fill it up. So I'm going to try to put oil into the tank and let's see. Let's see that there is sufficient enough of oil to take this problem away. So I'm just trying to fill it up slowly, guys. Just bear with me. Get some oil into the tank. I'm using a syringe. I'll just show you. So all I'm doing is using um, the syringe in here to fill oil into the tank. So just bear with me. So let's see if we got enough of oil.
Okay, I need to fill some more oil. So bear with me, guys. I'm going to do that as we speak. So this is um, the oil that I use. I'm going to get the camera out of focus because it's too close. Just bear with me. So this is the oil that we use in Australia. It's got Gulf Weston and you can get it from super cheap auto. All it is is basically hydraulic oil used in hydraulic jacks and you can get it from super cheap auto. That's what I'm using and what I'm going to do now is fill up some more oil into this uh, syringe. Just got to be careful I don't make a mess. So got another syringe of oil. Going to fill it up. Okay, now let's see how it behaves. It's gonna go take the boom all the way down. Okay, let's go up again. Okay, so I'm gonna try to bring a close up again. You can see now there's plenty of oil circulating and there, there, there's no bubbles anymore. So that's a good indication that the hydraulic system is now healthy. Now you do get, you're still getting a slight bubbles in there. And that's because I haven't filled the tank completely. I mean, I've got to go with one more syringe in there and then I'll have plenty of medium inside my tank. But in general, you can see that the hydraulics is performing pretty well now. There's no bubbles in there. There's plenty of oil on demand. I need to top it up a bit more. Let me just top this up a little bit more. One more burst of uh, oil through the syringe and that should fill my tank up. So, one more syringe of oil in there. What I'm going to do is reposition the excavator. It's going to get it into focus. I'm going to reposition this excavator for a second so that I can get my boom all the way. Uh, the main cylinder is completely compressed, fully expanded. I'm going to get it completely compressed. I know it's out of focus guys because I just want to get it out of the table so it's completely, uh, completely compressed. And all I'm doing is I'm taking out any air that is in the system by getting the cylinder to travel to its maximum um, travel, compressed and expanded. Okay, so that pretty much should now give us clean flow. There you go. Plenty of medium, no more cavitation, no more air bubbles. Okay. Now, while we are at it, one more thing um, I want to share with you. So, we've got an oil cooler up here. Generally, the rule of the thumb is to have five times the working volume of hydraulic oil in the tank because the tank actually acts like a primary cooler. The hot oil comes into the tank, you've got five times the working volume in there and it will take away the heat. However, 
over a period of time, if your tank is, is, is not very big in size, what's going to happen is it's going to heat the oil and then you've got hot oil every time. Hence, you've got a cooler up here. And what the cooler does is it's got fins. You've got a fan on the back side of it. It pushes air and the air passes through the fins and takes away the heat. And hence, you've got an oil cooler. And the oil cooler compensates and keeps the tank uh, cool or the oil in the tank cool. So you've got clean, cool oil coming from the tank into the pump, into your system. And then from the system, you'll then have a filter. It will go through the filter and then back into your tank. Now, some pumps do have strainers. The difference between a strainer and a filter is a strainer is on the suction side and a filter is on the discharge side. A strainer has um, a bigger gradient in terms of particle, whereas a filter is much more fine uh, and it's, it's in microns. A strainer, uh, it, it, you know, you could have a strainer where the grid particle size could be about, say, point fill. 0.5 mil, whereas in a strain uh, the filter, it's in microns. So that's pretty much uh, it. It was more about cavitation. What happens is mainly because either you've got a restriction on the suction side of the pump or you've got a smaller line and hence the pump is trying to draw the medium and hence you're getting bubble. So that's it, what we have in this video. As usual, thank you for watching. If you have any question or comments, uh, leave it down in, 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 the, in the comment section. I'll try to get to it and see how we can help you. Thank you for watching.